Hey y'all, I'm headed out back to uh, Culloway, North Carolina. Um, Harold the Catman Sims uh, actually got in touch with me and he wanted to show me another shelter in the area that uh, does not use cages uh, for their animals. So I'm interested in uh, checking this out and uh, sharing it with you guys. So follow me. all carver bagger here and i am at the forever farm with harold catman sims and would you like to introduce yourself kathy bub kathy Founder bub of friends for life all right we're gonna take a look at this shelter so you want to take open, us through open shelter open, open shelter no cages cage free shelter okay come on in that's the main thing in that you know you shouldn't be in a cage <laughs> good catch he's, he's, he's <laughs> you got the cat yeah, that's not good. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey there. Yeah, you got a big bump on your butt here. Okay. Yeah, you get to sit it out. It's got a clump. Yeah, you got a clump of hair. No. Quack, <laughs> <laughs> she says. Hey there. <laughs> Some are friendly, some aren't. <laughs> some aren't as friendly. <laughs> You're friendly. Yeah. Well, the kittens that you talked about, the kittens, people only take them. Really? You can yeah, only take yeah, them? Yeah, yeah. They're beautiful. Yeah. Help for that. <laughs> <laughs> and sorry. And sorry. Sorry. We got our own. We do our own cats in here. How many cats do you have here? Well, on the whole campus, we probably have 120 cats. Mm hmm. Um, we also do dogs and horses, but today we're here to, to visit <laughs> the cats. So all the cats in this room, in the other room you'll see, are um, disease-free. That's why they can roam free. Mm -hmm. um, and they all get along pretty well, amazingly. Looks like it. Yeah. But most of these cats are seniors or have some type of special needs. Um, occasionally we do a young kitty. Uh, but most of them are seniors and, and have some kind of issue, either blindness or um, a lameness or uh, death. You name it, we have all kinds. Yeah, one of yeah. back legs are paralyzed and have wheels on. Yes, mm -hmm. we even had a hey there. paraplegic. <laughs> friendly. Yes, he he's very. That's Timothy. He's hey, very Timothy. Friendly. He's an old guy. He says, "Take me with you." No, you don't want to go. You would go with. Oh. My wife would kill me. Uh -huh. This is the FIV room, which is similar to human age. It's feline age. And so these cats, it's really not a very devastating disease. <laughs> and they stay very healthy, but we don't want them communicating it to yeah. the other animals. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That's all right. Then they had it outside there. No, it's all screen porch. And then, uh, my late husband came in and remodeled it all for us. Yeah. And this guy here, he's got a problem with his leg? Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm not even sure what it's called. When he was brought to us, they said it was club-footed, and he has a brother with the same problem. Mm -hmm. He was born that way. Mm -hmm. But um, I would not call it a club foot. But he, he's a perfectly happy, healthy cat. Just has mobility problems. Yeah. She's blind. She's doing her way around. And uh, that white dude over there, there's a pair of them. Um, they're just came here because they were terribly shy and couldn't be adopted. Beautiful cat. <laughs> Lost the use of her two back legs. Mm -hmm. and um, But otherwise she was perfectly happy. And so when she became mature, we fitted her into one of these carts, yeah. wheelchairs. And um, she doesn't need to use it all the time. Like when she's visiting here, um, she just scoots around on the floor. I call her Scooter. Um, but in her foster home, they're able to put her cart on and she can go out in the garden and have a great time. Excellent. Yeah. Um, when Betsy died fairly young of cancer and she had three kitties and he wasn't able to care for them himself so he knew about us. He has a cottage over in um, Cashers although he's from Miami and he um, asked us about this program and he funded this cottage and his three sisters, three kitties came here. Um, two have passed away since then. They were older. The oldest one 
um, or the one that's left, you will meet down at the Picklesheimer Center because he's got some major issues. And as you will learn, that center is for our nursing care and hospice. It's the Trails End, kind yeah. of, where we take special care of them. Hey there. Yeah. You're a big one. Yeah, she is. She says, now I get to live here. I'm very lucky. This is um, a very lovely woman donated this facility to Friends for Life, and it is um, in, in memory of her late husband, Joseph E. Picklesheimer, uh, therefore called the Joseph E. Picklesheimer Center. And it is where um, we bring our animals that need a great deal of nursing care, palliative care, and hospice out of the end of life. Um, so we try to make it a very tranquil um, place for the animals. So you said this was the old doctor's office right yes, here? Yes, it was. Uh -huh. This is like the reception, reception area. area. This was the waiting room. This was even the little kitty. Oh, 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 oh. The little kitty corral where they put the children oh. to keep them out of the way. <laughs> we use it for animals, of course. It has rock and roll, you know. Oh, yes, of like course. This. No, that, we don't have rock and roll. No, here. that doesn't help the cats any. So we, we do have some healthy oh, kitties that are roaming loose in here. They're, they are older, but they're um, healthy. Yeah. They just needed a place to go, so they ended up here. And then we have s these nice rooms, which at one time were offices or records rooms or even exam rooms and we converted them. They had solid wood doors and even though he doesn't yeah. like this wood, I wanted the glass so we could just easily see yeah, in. We, we put glass with the metal on the side. Yeah. Of How's Edna doing? She's wonderful. Oh, she's she's sitting in her bed. Let me ask about Edna. Of course. Go in and see. Edna's a three-legged cat that can have No, I'm not. <laughs> I've, I've seen it before. She's a good girl. Hey there. Hi. Say hi. Oh, she's beautiful. She's a good kitty. She's real sweet. Is that the three-legged one? It is. She's a really nice girl. She's, she gives oh. one-arm tucks. <laughs> Did she have the three arms when, when <laughs> she was found? Yeah, she was born with three oh, arms. Born with three arms? Yeah. Well, she's got a main. Yes, she has her own room. Get there. It's a little. Alright, you being shy. Hey, Edna. <laughs> um, he wasn't shown. He was a stud cat, but Whimsy's here that was shown. He's a stud cat? Yeah, stud cat. There, stud cat. Yeah, we are first cat. We bought was ill. I'm just curious, how does a stud cat end up? Well, it's a very long story. <laughs> uh, Michelle, in her past life, she worked at um, emergency veterinary hospitals mm -hmm. down in Florida where she lived. And she had met the breeder through that. Yeah, through bringing her cats there for care. Right, and um, became acquaintances That's with nice her. Picture. And she was nice yeah. to her. And so oh. this woman, when she learned that she was going to die of cancer, mm -hmm. um, asked Michelle if she would help take her last 10 kitties and find oh. homes for them. Yeah. Yeah. Romeo, hey buddy, you probably got a, you probably got a lot of kids. Silver, more silver friends probably. Yes, she's <laughs> down here and he's very agitated. Yeah. Uh oh, your old girlfriend showed up. Yeah. Oh boy, he said. He's so friendly. He's beautiful. He is beautiful. The biggest housing area. I didn't know that. And she had a whole. Hey there. Are you the receptionist? He is the receptionist. <laughs> He's got some sort of head trauma. He was either run over by a car or oh hit by a horse. by a horse. So he's got a constant snorting. Um, Bones and sinuses in his head were messed up. So no matter what we do, we, we can't get rid of it completely. But he's an awesome oh. kid. Yes, he's an awesome kid. Buddy, someone hurt your head? Yeah. There. They all like to show off when people. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is the time to do it. Yeah. You look at Harold, haven't you? I have not. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Girlfriend. Oh, wow. Oh, that was a show cat. Yeah. 
That's a beautiful cat. It's a show cat right here. What's her name? Her name's Benzie. Copyright, yeah, copyright. Benzie. Look at the color on that cat. It's gorgeous. We had a white plus white to copyright version. Okay. Ago. That was our first cat we had when we got married. Yeah. He's got kidney failure. Yeah, he's end of life. Yeah. We're, we're just keeping him comfortable. Well. He's, like she said, terminal. There are many ugly cats, but they really are. <laughs> this is Teddy. Yeah, the last of Betsy's cats. Hey, Teddy. <laughs> How old is he? He's probably about 18, 19. 19? Mm hmm. My God. He's an old guy. He looks pretty good for you. Yeah, he does. He's really sweet. This is his friend Tinker. Tinker's got hyperthyroid. Um, she can be a little grumpy. Grumpy. Okay. <laughs> so we are friends for life. Um, and we run the Forever Farm and the Picklesheimer Center um, for hospice and nursing care for kitties. We are a sanctuary, um, basically cage free. And we are a nonprofit. We get no local, state, or government funding. So we rely on donations to support our mission. Uh, you can go to our website, which is friendsforlifeforeverfarm.org, all one word. And from there, you can donate online with PayPal or credit cards. You can um, find our mailing address, our phone number, all, every way that there is to contact us. And we invite you to come and see us in Lake Toxway, North Carolina. Um, just give us a call.